from LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big Saturday morning as millions of Americans awake across the country. $1,400 stimulus checks could still land in bank accounts today, yes. Your $1,400 third stimulus check could still post in your bank account this Saturday because last night was a banking day to process funds. Meantime, the White House addresses the Help Is Here tour, goes to Georgia and addresses where the help is and when you would land it in your bank account. The president has a new message about what's happening for stimulus and how soon you receive it. Also, this week, the White House issues a very clear message about how quickly you will have that stimulus. I'll have that video for you as well. Meantime, a new video of the White House going to the CDC in Georgia to address concerns about the growing pandemic. I'll have that video for you as well, just happening. And then a new warning from the Federal Reserve about scammers and how they can impact your stimulus. Elsewhere, more bank accounts start to, will start to see the $1,400 third stimulus checks post today. I'll go over who they are, but they won't be direct express cards, which will likely show the deposits potentially on March 24th. I'll have all that exciting details as well. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing. I'm here, you're here, and certainly your $1,400 third stimulus check will be here soon as well. As we awaken on a new day, a Saturday morning, March Madness is here, and I'm not referring to basketball, I'm referring to stimulus. As early mornings, LA gets underway right now from the West Coast. President of the United States had a lot of messages overnight, and among the messages were help is here. His help is here tour, which addresses where the $14 stimulus checks will land, went to Georgia. But along the way, viewers asked the other question, where is the help? <laughs> Where's the stimulus check? I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Is it under, is it missing with my bacon? It might be. In this recording, I'm going to explain what's going on. How are you? Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Ready to crush the Saturday? ready to uh, crush the direct deposit? Well, guess what? Stimulus checks have already started appearing in mailboxes as well. If only they could mail me some bacon. <laughs> How are you? It's happy Saturday morning. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It really helps. And also like the video, and that really helps. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Uh, in this recording, I'm going to go over everything from your stimulus check, whether it's a private bank like a Bank America or Chase. I'll be going over the Direct Express card. I'll be going over what's happening next week. I'll be going over the paper checks. All those questions and more. I've got a lot of new videos for you happening overnight. I'll be showing you some great new videos for the White House, from the Federal Reserve, um, and, and more across the land. There's so much happening. I'm so excited you're here. Let's get right to the details. These are the banks that have paid out checks to viewers this channel, and including viewers who are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. They are Citizens Bank, PNG, Bank Corp, Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, uh, Green Dot, People's United Bank, U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank, USAA, Union Bank, Metabank, Amex Bluebird, Navy Federal, Wells Fargo Chase, Bank America, uh, the Emerald card from H&R Block, and the TurboTax card. Now, this is what we've seen so far. We have seen every version possible of this. We've seen people where one person has got it on Bank America, another one hasn't. We've seen one person got it on Chase, and the sister didn't. We've seen one person got it from Wells, but the husband didn't. So we've seen all different versions of what you could think as different possibilities. This is what you need to know. $14 stimulus checks were passed as law a week ago yesterday. They were sent out all in one electronic push a week ago Friday. And then those disbursements started appearing last week. 
Chime and Cash App started posting them last Friday. But the major big banks, some credit unions, and other commercial banks, local banks, started posting them on Wednesday. So we're really only three days into this. So what if you heard your bank in that list and you don't have your stimulus check? Don't worry. Who's getting a stimulus check? The people who are getting stimulus checks are people who have direct deposit set up with the IRS because of a 2019 turn return or 2020 return. Those include people who got their first stimulus check by direct deposit and second or second stimulus check by direct deposit. Also, people who are on SSI, SSDI receive deposits monthly into a bank or savings account or a checking account. That's you. Also, those people who are on Direct Express card and receive their monthly benefits as well onto that card. More about that card in a second. And finally, anyone that filed a 2020 tax return in the very first few days of February, if you did and updated your bank account, it works. If you did by late February, it does not work. And let me start with that message as well. IRS has been very clear, clean, uh, clear in the last few days. Don't do what I just described. Some viewers did do it in February and it worked. But they're telling people, do not just file amended returns to change bank account information. And that was early in the week. The week ended with the Federal Reserve, with the IRS saying, hey, you know what? We're going to give you an extension for personal tax returns. So no longer is it... April 15th, it's now May 15th. Really great news. But the Federal Reserve, the IRS, and the White House had a lot to say this last week. And last night, the the White House took the Help Is Here tour to Georgia. The White House wants Americans to know what's in the stimulus package. But is there more at play? There is more at play. Let's be very frank. You've seen me re- re- deliver videos in the last few days from the White House, Chuck Schumer. And why do we keep on hearing Georgia? Because it is a little bit of a political play. The White House has admitted through oh, their own admission that during the Obama administration, they passed a Recovery Act, but no one knew what was in it. This time around, the president wants Americans to know what's in the Recovery Act. And why has he taken the message to Georgia? Because it still remains a swing state for the next midterm elections. So he wants to ensure that Georgia residents knows what's in the stimulus package. So what about that paper check? Yes, that's a real surprise. Millions of Americans woke up on Thursday, went to the mail and said, what is in here? Is this a paper check? What am I getting a paper check for? Here's what you got to know, is that I've been warning viewers for since last December, things just show up in strange places when it comes to stimulus checks. So if you're looking for it in one place, don't do that. Look for it in all the places it could possibly be. If, for example, you're a dependent, it may be in the person's bank account that you appear as a dependent on their tax return. It may be in their mailbox as well. It may be in the other bank account they have that were, that they were not tracking as well. If you have a payee, representative payee, they may have your stimulus check. Um, and then... If you're expecting it by direct deposit, it may not be in direct deposit where you thought it may be. It may be in another direct deposit account, or it may be an entirely different other place altogether. I'll have that detail coming up later in this video. But the Federal Reserve issued a very stern warning yesterday, and that warning was that you should be very alert because there are people that are calling people up saying that they are from the Federal Reserve when they're not. This is amid concerns that people may try to trick you when it comes to stimulus. Here was that message sent out in a new video from the Federal Reserve late yesterday. Let's watch. Have you gotten a phone call supposedly from the Federal Reserve claiming that there's suspicious activity on your bank account or that there's a warrant out for your arrest? It's a scam. If you get one of these scam calls, hang up. If it's a voicemail message, do not return the call. The Fed never calls members of the general public unsolicited. There are no personal Federal Reserve bank accounts, and we certainly don't issue warrants for arrest. If you've already answered such a call and think your personal financial information has been compromised, contact your bank and local law enforcement. You can also file a complaint with the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center at ic3.gov. To find out more about this and other scams, click on the link in this post. Also making a news yesterday was this new video from the White House. The White House had told Americans that stimulus is on its way and not to fret. But ultimately what happened was 
the White House issued not one, but two videos last this last week that looked eerily similar. This was one of them. And in this video from the White House, it said that we are reaching a milestone this weekend, 100 million doses and 100 million arms. Well, the president also said we're going to get 100 million checks within 10 days with those doses. So when are we getting the checks? Here is the message from the White House late yesterday. Folks, tomorrow we're going to hit a very important milestone that I promised. 100 million shots of vaccine in people's arms. So when you get your opportunity, get the vaccine, get the shot. It's critically important. And here is the president's message early on the week with a video that looked eerily the same, but it's slightly different. The message here was, you're going to get all this within 10 days, not by the weekend. Let's watch We're that. We're going to reach two goals in the next 10 days. 100 million shots in people's arms. 100 million shots. And 100 million checks of $1,400 or more in people's pockets within the next 10 days. We're on the way. Help is on the way. The president took the help is on the way tour to Georgia yesterday. If you tuned into Afternoons LA yesterday, I delivered to you a live recording from Georgia of the White House addressing the help is here tour. The president ultimately went to Georgia to address why stimulus is needed, telling Georgia residents about the importance for stimulus. Now, if you had watched that live feed with Ally, you saw a very peculiar occurrence in which the president misspoke once again about the stimulus package, referring to the $1,600 that children will get. Children won't be getting $1,600, they'll be getting $3,600 if they are five to newborn. He also misstated the amount of stimulus that children 17 and younger will be getting, saying that that was $300 a month when it's not. It's $300 a month if they're six, five to newborn, and it's $250 a month if they are six, if they are 17 to five, to six. Here's a little bit of his video yesterday when in visiting the CDC. Let's watch. Six is resistant against one of these monoclonal drugs, and we're going to give recommendations around changing to a separate drugs, maybe combination drugs. That are that will be effective against this particular uh, variant. So, I just I want to end there, and uh, we can talk more if you have questions. Do you do you have any questions? Oh, okay, thank you. So let me turn it over to Dr. LeBird. Thanks, Henry, and let me add my welcome to you, um, President Biden and Vice President Harris, for being with us in this historic moment in public health. It is is such an honor to so be in our history forever, so thank you for your presence. Um, we observed early in the pandemic that race- Throughout the last week, the president has had very helpful daily briefings by his staff that addressed where the pandemic is. And the concern is that the variants continue to spread across the land. Those variants have been a big message for millions of Americans, but the other message that Americans are waiting is Where's that stimulus check? Where is that $1,400 third stimulus check? And when it comes to direct express cards specifically, this is a little bit of a different circumstance. Let me explain why. Direct express card is a card issued by the federal government to pay federal benefits to you. So this is actually the federal government's doings. They're sending you the card, direct express, so that you can get your benefits, whether it's railroad benefits or veterans benefits or SSI or SSDI or Social Security or railroad benefits. And yet, as of Friday, a week since the bill became law, seven days since it became law, actually that's almost eight days already, no viewers on direct express card had yet to see a single penny post while others who could have received their benefits instead on a Bank America account or a Chase account had shown them post. So if help is here, why is the help not working when it's being sent out from the federal government to a federal government debit card, the Direct Express card? Not for particularly clear. And also really not particularly clear is these waves and also the Get My Stimulus tool. What this channel has had to do, uh, you know, almost exhaustively is repeatedly tell viewers that when it comes to the IRS tool, 
don't worry, it just doesn't work. The IRS Give My Stimulus tool has consistently not worked, and yet the White House continues to refer people to look to it to get guidance. It's inaccurate because it provides incorrect information about where your stimulus check is. And I've often referred to it as get my blood pressure up tool because <laughs> that's all it does. It doesn't give you any information, but it certainly gets your blood pressure up if that's what you want the tool to do. Uh, they need a tool to fix the tool. <laughs> get a tool to fix the my IRS get the tool tool. <laughs> so, you know, it's like tool time just without home improvement. <laughs> it's, you know. Anyway, so what would happen with this Direct Express card is the question of where is the funds? That changed midday yesterday, as suddenly about a dozen viewers of this channel who use the Direct Express card suddenly saw a change of login information. It suddenly started to show funds pending availability. And then others saw funds pending availability on March 24th. This is huge, great news, because suddenly we have seen gone from no information to March 24th. Now, here's another thing that doesn't particularly rub people well. The president is on the Help Is Here tour to tell people about how help is on the way and that stimulus checks will land in people's bank accounts within 10 days. 100 million checks within 10 days. Help is on the way. That was his message. So why is the Direct Express card website which is, a, again, a federal government card, saying stimulus checks will land in a couple weeks. Well, it's, first of all, inaccurate, but why would it even say something like that? Moreover, some viewers say that when they called, they were told that stimulus checks may arrive, like, you know, in weeks and weeks and many, many, many weeks. Help is not here, <laughs> it's the message uh, from the Direct Express website. It's help is here, you know, when we get to it. It's just, you know, not, not at the moment. Now, what you need to know is that that is not necessarily what's going to happen. A stimulus is going to land, and that stimulus is going to land in the next few days. And stimulus could post today, it could post Monday, and it could post Tuesday. What should you know about that? I have all those details coming up. As the coffee's brewing, the toast is toasting, and I have got more for you in 60 seconds. But stay with me as Early Mornings LA continues right after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And it's a big mo uh, morning with a lot of excitement across the land. And that excitement continues right now, as millions of Americans wonder where and when their stimulus check would land in their bank account. That stimulus could land today. And how would that work? Well, the coffee is brewing, the toast is toasting, and I'm here, you're here, and how are you? Let me go over all these details. First, the stimulus check could post throughout the day. Why? Because today is a day to, to post funds that were delivered yesterday. In the case of the direct deposits, the funds were delivered a week ago. And so banks could certainly post account deposits throughout this Saturday. 
you would not show anything on Sunday. Now, here's an interesting rub, is that a lot of viewers say that, well, in the case of the Direct Express card, I've never shown anything post on a weekend. They're generally referring to their benefits. In the case of stimulus check, you could see Direct Express change information for you today that could go from no information to funds pending for March 24th. That's the good news. The other good news is that more funds could post on Monday. Now, here's something you need to know, and you're only going to hear from this channel. And I started saying it on Thursday, but maybe I should start saying it on Wednesday. Stimulus checks may come in the mail instead of in your bank account. Yes. And we started to see that on Friday. On Friday, we started to hear reports that on Thursday, the day before, viewers were receiving checks in the mail. Stimulus checks. They also were receiving them on Friday in the mail. Now, what's important to understand is that you may have expected a stimulus check to come by direct deposit, but guess what? This is not an unusual circumstance. It happened under second stimulus, where stimulus checks just appeared in the mail. Here's what one stimulus check envelope may look like. This is what the, this is what the stimulus check, when it comes on a debit card, looks like. Bland, it is. Plain Jane, it is. Skinny, very skinny. What does it have? Nothing on it except all white and a little bit of red in the corner. And what does it say? It says, not a bill or an advertisement. Oh, okay, thank you. I was wondering what that was. Uh, important information. Oh, information about your economic impact payment. I don't need econ information about my stimulus check. I make videos about it, so I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> Or you you watch videos about it. I don't need any more. I just do. I, I've heard enough about it. I don't need any more. I just make videos all day long. No. So when you open it up, it does not really have information about it. It actually has the debit card that has the civil check on it. So ironically, this is not something you may have been looking for. And this is why you have to be attentive because this may be slidden in the mail between the... Um, here's half off on the turnips at the local supermarket or the come and let me paint your house for 250 thing that was dropped by the person who walked by yesterday so it could simply just be stuck in a pack of mail and you may not think it's much of anything that is what i want you to understand going into the new day is that millions and millions of americans may receive their stimulus check by direct deposit but what else may viewers start to hear next week? They may hear a little bit more from communications directors for Biden uh, about stimulus, more about that second. But they also may hear from Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren, every few days, has been pushing for the wealth tax. Let's listen in more about that. Lots of people who aren't buying their own homes. And one of the other things the data shows, lots of people who are not starting their own businesses. And all of those things hold back our economy. And I make that point because I'm sure there are lots of folks who are on this call tonight who don't have student loan debt. But here's the deal. Even if you don't have student loan debt, you will be helped by seeing student loan debt canceled because it will help our economy. This is one of those things that doesn't have to go through Congress. The authority is already there in law for the president and his team, the administration, the secretary of education, to cancel out this student loan debt. And uh, President Obama used it to cancel some student loan debt. President Trump used it to cancel some student loan debt. I wanna see President Biden use it. If he would cancel $50,000 in student loan debt, it would make an enormous difference in the lives of tens of millions of Americans and help build our entire nation um, a stronger future going forward. So, But yet the president has not done that and has pushed back on each account. The president this next week will have to deal with other issues like the push from Democrats of reoccurring stimulus checks to the end of this year. $2,000 a month, presumably, six months, presumably, six thousand, twelve to $16,000. Sounds like a lot of money, not a lot for this president who wants to pay $3,000 a child for 18 years. And this week, his press secretary said he is anticipating that the next package will have a raise of your taxes. A raise of your taxes to pay for the stimulus. Interesting. We'll see how that plays out. 
But also playing out is the push to deliver to the American people the message about what is in the stimulus package. More about that video in a second. But if you're just joining me, let me tell you where we are. The big update as we go into a Saturday morning is that $1,400 third stimulus checks will still post in your bank account today. Yes, they can post throughout the day. The $14 stimulus check could post in the morning, could post in the afternoon, could post in the late afternoon as well. They would not post tomorrow. They could also start to show pending status today for checks that had never shown any status as well. And then it could also land in the bank account. Here again are the banks that have paid out stimulus to some viewers of this channel. And they are Citizens Bank, PNG, Bank Corp, Bank Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People's United Bank, U.S. Bank, and PNC as well. Capital One Bank, USAA, Union Bank, Metabank, Amex Bluebird, and Navy Federal, along with Bank America, Wells, Chase, H&R Block, Emerald Card, and TurboTax. The message from the uh, IRS is very clear. You have now an extra month to file your tax return, but do not use the amended return to fix things. But what do we do if things aren't fixed? What goes on with this Direct Express card? Will March 24th be the real exciting day where stimulus lands? And will the White House address this question? The White House has been using interesting people to address stimulus. This person you'll see in this video here addressed stimulus in a major video posted to the White House's website this week. She's not an economic advisor. She's not a person who will explain the impact of the stimulus or how it will arise in your bank account. Rather, he's one, she's one of the press team members for the president. And her message is, you're getting stimulus. Let's watch again. Provides the extension of unemployment insurance. So 11 million people in this country who otherwise would have lost their unemployment insurance in March are now going to see that extended through the beginning of September. And they're going to also get an extra $300 a week. This bill also expands the child tax credit, which means that families will receive a $3,600 benefit for every kid under six and a $3,000 benefit for every kid between six and 17. And this bill is going to help small businesses. The money in this bill provides access to capital, especially for minority owned small businesses to ensure that they can get through uh, this moment. In addition to those benefits, this is a bill that's going to fund a national vaccination program. So it's going to ensure that you can get a shot and that we get a little bit closer to the goal that President Biden laid out last week of getting this country one big step closer to normal by the 4th of July. So these are just some of the many ways that the American Rescue Plan is gonna help you and families like yours all across the country. If you want more information, you can go to www.whitehouse.gov slash American Rescue Plan. And there you are, help is here and help is on the way. As the president's message is very clear, stimulus checks will be laying your bank accounts within 10 days from when it became law, which brings us all the way to the start of next week. How soon will you see the stimulus checks? I'll be watching them throughout the day. If you did not watch EIDL at 3 a.m. East 6 o'clock on the East Coast this morning, catch it. It's now on the video on the channel. Also, FPUC at 6.30. Meantime, I'm back next with Mornings at LA at 9 a.m. on the West Coast, 12 noon on the East Coast. Thank you for joining me on Early Mornings at LA. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like this video. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. Let's see if we do two, three, four thousand likes. Also consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, and VIP. Thank you for joining me on a big Early Mornings LA broadcast. Thank you, and stay with me, and stay with LA for more. <laughs>